All right, let's take a mulligan on that one. In the game's defense, I'm probably not supposed to uh, run from every single fight forever. Okay, cool. That's really early. That walk is what saved it. Worry? That's the face of capitalism? That's what I'm fighting? Gosh, I, I hate to break it to you, but uh, face of capitalism is literally one of my party members. You might have noticed that a large number of the late game fights boil down to, hey, let's just throw money at this problem. Oh, 
踊りましょう出番つっさーて X コードさすが
Well, it makes sense that everything that lives in the water hates Primrose. She lives in the desert. Oh, we got we got the ninth third try, which is still really really good. Very close to even. It's a bad fight. Okay, cool. Let's fucking go.
そうさん入ります。踊ろうかしら。そこ。私の番。はあ。ほ、う、ら、ん。出番。
that's not good. That movement was real bad, and I'm gonna get hurt, and I'm gonna deserve it. Alright, I didn't get hurt. I did deserve it, though. Oh, Jesus. Oh. That's not good. Everything's fine. I never didn't have it. So much geometry in this run that just nudges you a little bit and costs you extra steps. I get it now. I understand why this run is terrifying in particular. It's easier to avoid it on the trip back, which is interesting to me. That's correct. I come all this way to the Shrine of the Rune Blade, and I am definitely not going to fight the boss. I am going to get into a fight on this screen now, though. That screen's one of the tightest runs in the game, for sure. did work. Uh, Primrosing has been feast or famine today. Like, 
Things have either gone extremely well or they've gone run-endingly bad. Unfortunately, so far, nothing has gone extremely well all in one run. Glad to hear that you're also doing okay. It's not worth the extra time to get a pomegranate and to save the uh, soul stone. Synth pop is back. How's it going? We lost a well. We actually lost a lot of time. But the rest of the split was good. That's the tragedy. That's the real tragedy here. during that Heathcote fight because I really, really wanted, more than anything else, I wanted to uh, to get that pomegranate. That just, that wasn't worth it. Probably gonna get into a fight here. I brushed up against that geometry. Everybody knows there's nothing more dangerous than rubbing yourself against some mats. Flurry? Thanks, Flurry. Hmm. 
Be sure to, to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds after touching any maths. I agree. Thank you for that important PSA. Remember, everyone, it's, it's up to you to do your part to help stop the spread of arithmetic. So Cyrus thinks of himself as like a Sherlock Holmes type figure. So that is, uh, that, that's whenever you see the, um, whenever you see him using scrutinize, what that is, is that's him going into his mind palace. He's looking at a person thinking, ah, yes, just by your appearance, I now know where some silver is in a trash heap elsewhere. Yeah, sometimes he fails and then he just looks like a real creep. And that's why he will make you lose your reputation in town if he fails too much. Thank you so much for the 23 months, jeez, and for the good luck.
Extra stall stone now? Maybe two? I think two. Weird. That's unlucky. After last time. Right. <laughs> Oh, 
されるものか守りがらう本気を出そうか OK、cool. いくわよ Yeah, good RNG. Yeah, I know for sure that this is gonna PB this run. It's just kind of the way that it works. Try and take a sip of water relatively quickly and just spill it on your face instead. They're gonna PB. It's just kind of a natural law. Those sorts of things, like, they don't they don't like to be forgotten. Now we're gonna get, like, perfect Simeon. Go. That's it. There's a 20k. Is that the 20k? Yes, that was the 20k. You would think that drinking water would be a relatively common skill to possess, but it turns out it's almost impossible. It's been at least one, maybe two decades since I've watched Airplane. I should fix that sometime soon. If you don't screw up your movement, you don't have to do this. 
but I screwed up my movement and I don't want to take a chance. If I if I fail to PB by 10 seconds, like you can all make fun of me. Wango, thank you so much for 29 months. Everyone, if you're not already following Dwango AC, consider Do instead. He is definitely one of those people on Twitch that is as close to an obligatory follow as there is. He's just a fantastic human being on top of that. So if you're not following at least, but preferably if you're not already subscribed to one, like, consider fixing that. You do keep streaming at a time that I'm asleep, which is really annoying because I've got a resub that I need to announce at some point. Someday I'll get to, I guess. Alright, do I have a good, a good turn order? Are we going to get to play? Hmm. Well, that's not good. Let's we'll see what happens. Nope. Okay, cool. Well, that makes my life easier. Technically, where does Primrose go? That's going to be the question. Technically, maybe not dead. Oh no, I'm just dead. Never mind. Let's try again. Quick reset is nice. Defend. That's is Firestorm. Let's break Simeon. Press the brakes at everyone else. It's almost bad. You are. ま、もう<笑> That's... Go. Turn four. Steel. Cyrus will be 
そうかえっ<笑>いかがかしら You're on the hunt for a skirt switcher.、Uh, I highly recommend a Matrix 4x2 or 6x2、um, skirt switcher. Annie AV, A N I A V,、uh, sells them in North America. Right. Does the game allow me to win? Let's find out. Right, Shackle Foe. Hey, that's a good start. なかなか考えがいがあるほらこっちへおいで、はい、He dies <笑> Oh dear、um, You're an olive You're not before Simeon That's fine, you're an olive You've gotta be これを Punch Press up That's unfortunate. Gotta defend. This is way off script now. For the good luck. I'm super duper off script, so this is about as gaming as you're gonna get. She's gonna be good for one turn, that's good. You are defend. You are defend. Oops. Sub one, and that is a sub one that I got way off script, so I feel good about that. And a goal.
Dory. Thank you very much for the good the GG, Kate. Abermancer, thank you for the GG. Sarah. Broker. Gracia. It's true, I did it. Three down, five to go. This one went fast. I only started Primrose like four days ago, so feeling good about that. Yeah, it's a big PD. Ariel, thank you for the GG. Yes, and Pop, much better time. The RNG was much kinder to me this time around. Am I going to keep getting the hang of Primrose, or is it time to move on? Uh, so, my goal is sub one hour for all of the single story before I move on to Galdera runs. So, actually, while these credits are playing, I should be setting up a poll. straw poll in chat. So for people asking who's next, um, it's either going to be Cyrus, Tressa, Ulbrich, Alphys, or Therian, and you all are going to decide. Makes it so that I don't have to think about it. You've got until credits are done, so like 45 minutes from now I'm going to see what the results are. Scepter, welcome back. Thank you for the congrats. You're here just in time to vote for who uh, who I'm gonna I'm gonna be learning next. Not actually 45 minutes, although like Final Fantasy VI speedruns. If you've ever been there for the end of one of those runs, um, yeah, I have to sit around for like 35 minutes, actual 35 real world minutes uh, for the credits to complete. Yeah, the Final Fantasy VI credits are super good. The only thing that makes the Final Fantasy VI credits better is having uh, Miria in chat talking about what they're doing uh, programming-wise. Because it's... On a Super Nintendo, it's so easy to just go, oh, anything that looks cool must be uh, Mode 7, but... It's not. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that uh, that programmers had available to them that by the end of the lifespan of the Super Nintendo was really well understood. No, no, there's there's actually a lot of interesting visual, visual effects uh, that are achieved via HDMA as opposed to just Mode Seven. Especially whenever you have non-full-screen effects and things that are not um, uh, things that aren't just like you know affine transformations of sprites, uh, it's often the case that you're actually looking at like complex HDMA effects as opposed to only mode seven. Yeah, the Super Nintendo. If you look into the technical details and how they all fit together, is really just, it's a very cool piece of engineering. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can play any sort of music through SPC 700 using just samples. Like, Duango does that every stream. Um, it turns out that the SPC 700 is a pretty okay chip, it's just when samples require PCM audio and you're using very small parts. You thought Duango did it through an Ineos. No, Duango does it through a Super Nintendo. Uh, the payload that he has that sets up the um, music player is through Super Mario World. I mean, like, everything is through Super Mario World. Um, Super Mario World is just a really handy way to get arbitrary code execution of whatever the hell you want on a Super Nintendo. not to say that that class of bug doesn't exist elsewhere, it just... Good luck finding it within the first two minutes of a game. SMW is actually a really interesting um, litmus test for an emulator, because so many of the various ways that um, that glitches work in Super Mario World will jump to open bus, and a lot of emulators don't emulate that correctly because it's technically out of spec. Oh, Amy Answer, thank you very much for the host. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, you are here right at the end of the stream, um, but for anybody who's joining in, uh, you can also help me decide Am I going to be speedrunning next? I'm learning all of the uh, single character speedruns, and I just got under one hour with Primrose, which means it is time to move on. Yeah, Super NT is a pretty impressive emulator. Of the closed source emulators, I would say that the Super NT seems to be the best one, which is ironic when you consider that one of the emulators out there is fucking made by Nintendo. You'd think that they would do a better job, but apparently not. Um, yeah, Duango and I have uh, different views on what to call the Super NT. My view is that just because you've, just because your code is running on a, um, just because it's running on an FPGA doesn't mean that it's not code. It's not an emulator. It's still very much an emulator, in, in my view. Um, I think that Duango having a different view, uh, I think that while I disagree with it and I disagree with the logic that reached it. I don't think that Wango is like, you know, Wango's very, very smart as well. The reason that I don't consider it a clone is because I would say that a clone needs to not be running on a computing platform, and I would assert that an FPGA is a computing platform. Um, yeah, fundamentally, Wango and I agree on whether or not, like, the Super NT is basically a SNES, it's not. Um, I tend to think of clones specifically as existing only in hardware cloning. And once you hit an FPGA, you're on a computing device. Uh, Duango's view of where a computing device starts is just a little bit past that. And I, I think that's, you know, a valid view. Um, either way, uh, analogs marketing about how emulators are bad is both harmful for retro gaming and um, and preservation on the whole, but also just kind of disingenuous in a sales tactic, and I find it a little bit gross. You've been working with an FPGA-based replay device, and you're coming around to my point of view. Yeah, um, I've only worked with FPGAs a little bit, and I've only worked with the Zinx, uh, specifically the 7020. 
Um, 88, how's it going? Can I do it again? You missed a sub one. Um, yes, let's find out who won the vote. Uh, yes, you'll get to see me start doing it again tomorrow when I begin learning Tressa's speedrun. That's what's coming up. There's a vote. Uh, I can I can give you the vote if you want to vote. Here, you vote. Maybe you change the answer. Capitalism ho. Alright, I see your vote. Good news. I'm still speedrunning Tressa. There was no way in hell you were going to change the result. But giving you that, that uh, feeling of uh, empowerment was very important to me. So, next up is going to be Tressa. Looking forward to that.